Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and apply maps to an object. So we're going to start with uh, using a, a NURBS sphere. Draw a NURBS sphere and just uh, shade it, press 5 to shade it. So um, go to your uh, rendering tab and just apply, make sure this one is selected and just apply the blin material. So um, the blend material, uh, we, can, we can actually add color from here, okay? So all you need to do is, on your, on your right hand side over here, you see the color tab. You can just tap that one and you have um, this coloring thing, color wheel or whatever you call it. So apply, that looks good to me. We'll apply that color, okay? So we've actually applied the color to this board as you can see. But the color of the material, uh, the color of this material can also be derived from what is called a texture. Okay, so um, to do that, we can use this little checkerboard on the um, on the right hand side, this one here. So when we click on that, we get this um, um, render node that will come up. Okay, and on the render node, you've got X amount of um, options. But what we want, because right now we've got all the options, we've got all the options, we've got the 2D texture, 3D texture, all these other options, okay? Okay, this is how it is. You've got them, 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 and them, okay? So what we're interested in is the 2D textures. That way we don't have, um, we, don't make it, we don't make the mistake of actually apply, trying to apply 3D textures on our 2D uh, image, if you know what I mean, guys. So anyway... Click on the 2, 2D texture and just apply, in this case, we're going to apply um, cloth. There we've applied the cloth. Okay? So right now you can't see that, you can't see, um, you can't see this, but if we render it, if we, if you, if we render it, <clears throat> that's when you're going to, um, that's when you're going to see our object, see? We've rendered it, and we can see that the cloth is actually being applied. All right, and uh, on on here you can see the cloth attribute, the cloth um, attri attribute on here. Okay, so the real key, the real key here, is um, that this map here is writing the color, uh, the color of the of the of the channel, pretty much. Okay, the cloth is writing the color of your channel. And the way you um, navigate is through these um, up and down, this up and down to navigate through your colors. So um, if we close this, you will, um, the best, I, I think, guys, the best way to learn this is to actually play with it yourselves. There, there's only so much I can, I can explain to you guys, but um, yeah, just make sure you play with it yourself, okay? Some one thing I need to point out is sometimes you get like those options. You we we only have two options. We've got cloth and place 2D uh, texture, but you can have it get through to where you like your blend material and stuff using the up the up and down um, keys. Let me show you what I mean. If we go to that one, you see the the you've got blend and cloth. If we go back, you see them. Okay. We've got a plus 2D texture. See? That's how that's how it works. So and again, we can also um we can also as you can see there's a black, white, and gray. And there's uh you notice there's black, white, and gray in here. So we can also change colors, okay? We can change colors like if we want, we can um Say okay. We want the black to. We don't want it black. We want it to be red, or we want it to be gray, or whatever. Using the RGB, red, green, and blue, as you would uh, you would guess. So yeah. So um, let's take it back to black. Why don't we? Yeah, we've got black, and you can you can play with it and um, see how it works out for you guys, and um. What other thing? One other thing I need to uh, point out from here. Um, 
bear in mind we've actually color we've actually added texture to our color okay we've actually applied texture as our color but we can also add transparent we can actually add texture to our transparency okay guys let me show you what I mean if we render this again you have that okay as you can see pay attention to what uh, what's on the screen so let's close that let's close this and just apply um let's apply another material 2d texture let's apply a checker material to um, our transparency so if we apply the texture material um, the checker let's navigate let's um, navigate through so our um, transparency I uh, just navigate through just bear with me guys so anyway we can um, apply any material to any of these squares okay so let's go back to our transparency Our trans here's our transparency we've got our che checkers um, attributes so um, with our checkers attributes again we can um, we can adjust this uh, the transparency of our color as you can see like if we want um, the gray the if we want the black to be more transparent okay we can act as you can see self-explanatory guys okay it will make a more sense if you um, actually practice and uh, figure it out yourselves. Well, but not really figure it out yourselves, but I've shown you how it is. All you need to know, all you need to do is just practice and you see how it works. As you can see, it's been applied. So pretty much what we did, we applied cloth to our transparency. So when um, a cloth was a checkered, uh, sorry, a check, uh, checkered board to our transparency. So we've got the black and whites. So we can um, adjust the transparency of our blacks and the transparency of white as the color of that, um, of the, as the color of the object. Okay, guys, don't get it confused. Uh, don't get it confused. That's how it works. It's uh, pretty much simple. It's pretty simple, and you can, um, you can, yeah, you can do. Just practice. You you get it. Okay, as you can see, I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting my transparency. Of the first color, which is black, I'll adjust the transparency to whatever, and uh, the second color, which is white, I'll adjust it to whatever, and uh, the contrast as well. But yeah, as you can see, but that's not necessary. That's all you need to know, guys. So hope you've uh, you've learned something, and um, uh, we'll see you.